Hello, so uh, I'm just going to do a quick video on how I make my torque arms for the e bike build. This is another one I'm doing with a volume arc kit. I've got the axle, I've got the wheel mounted in the frame. And on this one, you've got a nice bit of metal here to have something against and a bolt hole down the bottom. So I've made a couple of well, just a, a cardboard template which will fit over the two straight edges of the axle. Sit roughly against this part of the frame where it will sit nice and flat. And then we'll drill an hole in the bottom to hold that in place. And then once you've got your washer and your nut on there, obviously once the wheel torque is trying to take it out of the frame that way this should hold it all in nice and tight and then when you want to get your back wheel out to do punches or anything like that it's literally just a case of one bolt in there and then it'll all come out as normal so I've transferred that to just an old piece of aluminium that I've got one for each side Quite thick stuff, probably four mil, five mil at a push. So we're going to cut, probably drill an hole in the drill hole here and a hole there. Same size as the axle, which I checked, but I think is twelve mil. And then we'll just use the angle grinder to cut the rough shape out of there, and then file them nice and uh, we'll see what happens next. So there we go, we've got the aluminium bracket made up, it's filed a little bit on a few edges just to sit, fit the frame nice, so that fits over there, make sure it sits nice and flat against the frame and drilled an hole in there and I've got a little I think it's a little eye tensile disc bolt with a washer and screw that on there and then do that fairly tight that's then on there over your axle so that wheel unless something major snaps or goes wrong it's pretty well in there I'll just get the uh, the washer in, make sure that sits, that's, it, that's locking in behind that now as well, so even more, less chance of coming out of there, and do not up, there you go, one torque arm, I can't see that axle going anywhere. Obviously you can make these as tidy as you like. I've just took all the rough edges off, but you can paint them or do what you like. And that sits nice against there, that edge. Plus you've got your washer sitting against that. So that whole axle is now sat against the back of the frame. So I'll just do the same on the other side. And then uh, following on in the video, I'll show you how to wire the controller up. These volume mark ones are normally pretty good, just plug and play, so let's hope it's the same. So that's the other side done. Don't expect them to fit first time. You, like I had to take an extra piece off the top so it'll fit underneath where the derailleur mounts. A little piece in there 
so it sits a little lip on the frame but everything now is when you uh, go in that way is all pushing against your main frame and you've got the the lip of the washer behind that aluminium as well so I'm just going to tighten that up flip it over we'll have a look at mounting the battery and uh, wiring her up so we've got the back wheel tightened up and back flipped over if you want to see anything about spacing the wheel out to fit the uh, the brake disc or make sure it lines up plus changing the derailleur about so it'll select all the gears uh, there's one a previous video on one of these volume art kits and different bike so we've got the LCD and that fitted the other day that's that with the control on the left the brake cut off lever both sides and then you throttle I'll just run it really round sort of with the brake cables you can put some sheeting on it or whatever so you've just got your uh, your wires from the front there which probably hook up underneath because I want the bag above where I'm going to mount the battery which will be on the two bottom mounts so I was saying you've got the wires from the front fitted the pedal assist wire from the bottom and then your wires from your motor and also your wires coming up from your battery so pedal assist pretty much if you've got a crank removal tool makes it a lot easier whip the arm off fit this there's a little ring on the inside with your sensor some of them will thread on but I had to um, contact adhesive that one on to make it work so I've just got the battery quite like these Exco ones it's a 48 volt 13 amp power get them for about 200 quid you get the mount obviously it's gonna fit on them two bolts get that on there in a minute Batch on, comes with your key and your charger as well. Uh, these these batteries have got a, a USB as well, so if you charge your phone up or whatever you like, really. So we'll get the battery on and then we'll have a look at getting the controller in the bag in here and we'll have a go at wiring her up. Just a quick uh, thing as well, your mounting counter, the original bottle bolts, when they're on there, they're going to stick up. So a quick dig through the bolt box, found some flatter ones. And as you can see, there's plenty of clearance there, so you may just need to swap, swap your battery mount bolts out. I do apologise about it. I do apologise about the sniffling, it's uh, time of year again, so we're uh, getting wintry, not a lot of daylight, so shed's a mess, loads of stuff on the go, need to get some stuff built and out of the way, so I can crack on with my own stuff. Right, so I've gone ahead and just wired this up, because like I say, these volume art kits are pretty much plug and play this one's the same again where really. I've decided to mount the bag there so that we've got a short distance for the battery wires and we can add it all nice and neatly in the bottom of the bag so I'll tell you what pretty much I mean you've got your the wires coming out of the controller same just a white block connector two wires for your sensors and then you've got sorry the focus ain't very good um, your blue, green and yellow obviously go to your blue, green and yellow down to your motor and then 
black and red to your battery and then all your small ones there's one extra one there that I'd say is for an ignition maybe cut off um, there's normally two thin blues which if you plug together it'll be your restriction so 250 watt you've got three wires that looks a bit blue on there but it is actually black um, red and green saying so that one goes to your throttle at the front then there'll be another three wire one black red and white which goes down to your pedal assist so all the connectors match up on that so there there's your two blue and your spare one there so you've got yeah throttle pedal assist and then you'll have two just a pair of wires black and red new usually go up to your brake lever cut offs and then you just have a, a five or six wire five on that one matching all the colours anyway goes up to your display so that's all all the controller wired in really just have to cable tie everything up but I'll uh, I'll flick the battery on first and see if it turns on it might go up in smoke or with a bang so fingers crossed battery's on Nothing sparked or smoked, so you can always press the middle button on these, hold that on, and the, it come on. Not sensitive at the minute, but we'll just lift the back wheel, battery's reading full, it's in naught, so. I'm one handed here, but oh, it started to move, which is uh, no, it does do on your throttle, it won't move on your pedals. But anyway, I'll give it a, just a run through in the shed and then make sure all the five different speeds are working. Um, yeah, might do a bit of video tomorrow, take it for a ride just to test it. If we can catch some daylight, but looking good so far. So that's another build done. Just took it out, everything works fine. There you go. If you need any more tips or anything, or got any questions, please comment and uh, like subscribe if you're into this sort of thing there's not much to them these volume markets are good they just plug in really main thing is mounting your back wheel in with your torque arms yeah the pedal assist on but you just need a tool that costs about 12 quid that makes that easy get the battery on controllers in here with all the wires in and then just your bits that go on the bars, like your LCD, brake cut-offs that you don't have to use, but I'm doing for a customer, it's always better for safety. Yeah, there we go. Until the next one.